hello everyone so today I have this very nice looking flower effect you can see this flower is just made up there is petals animating in this effect so let's check out in detail how I created this effect first of all I will show you this 3d maya file of flower and you can see each and every petal is separate okay and the center pivot is same for all the petals okay and the center heart so I just exported these petals one by one all separated and just created this effect and if you see here I have all these petals separated okay these are static mesh and this is the material that animating it here I will show you so this is the effect so if I just isolate one my zero petal you will see the petal one just come by rotating so first of all the mesh is petal that I have shown you then the movement in this petal you can see the wavy movement that done by material if you see my material basic texture for petals and here is the thing world position offset I have used this wavy texture you can see there is just one wave but I have used texture coordinate to multiple for multiple waves and this is animating because I have connected with a panel these are panning and this node just connected to offset world operation offset basically offset your face or vertexes of mesh so the value of the offset i have used in dynamic parameter distort you can see here that i used in here distort so the how much distort i need i have applied here if you see it's 0.5 now if I do it 5 you will see this is distorted too much so just 0.5 is enough if I do it 1 you can easily see these waves are just going through the model so 0.5 is good for this effect so first of all in required nothing I have changed just a material square then life sorry spawn this spawn is one particle then life 5 initial sc scale you can choose whatever you want how big you want to create or small color just pink scale or life I use because you can see when it's spawning it's from 0 to scaling its actual size then again it's going to 0 size so here you can see scale if I show you my curve you can see okay so it's animating then initial rotation you can see it's rotating when it's come and rotation over life because when it's rotating it, it stops when it reaches to the its position then dynamic parameter for the wavy effect and I also connected the light and initial location okay so second is absolutely same just mesh is different if I show you one by one this is my first mesh then I open again to second mesh the second mesh third mesh all the properties are same in these all petals just the mesh is different because I showed you 
I have all separate mesh that I used each mesh for each particle system ok so I will just open all my petals and the process is same in all because you can see this color because these all are instants you can see all the lights are 5 all the initial size are 100 all the color are pink all the sides are animating all has initial location and all has instance like all the properties are same just the mesh data is different because the petals are different so I will just turn on all the petals you can see these are just coming and just going and why these petals coming one by one not together because I used delay in my required you can see 0.6 delay in first then second 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 okay so there is delay in this you can see that's why they are coming one by one then after that save and this is rose petals that rotating around my flower so for this I use this mesh this is just a planar that is curved shape you can just bend in your 3d software and I'm using this texture sheet for this you can see this is texture sheet I am using random, it is not animated sequence, it is, I use this for random frames and normal for this. So here you can see in required I use 4 by 4 random and I use light in it and orbit to rotate it. If I turn just off, these are not rotating, I am rotating it here on Z axis. Okay then again some petals that's also rotating but the area of rotation is large because in orbit the area is 300 and 200 in previous one the area was 200 and 100 the next one is some sparks type or you can say streaks rotating around the flower so the rotation process is the same I am using orbit and the material is different just a simple radial ramp okay and these are stretching because I use velocity alignment and I have stretched it here and then some trails you can see these are trails that are rotating and for this trails effect I use this material texture is very simple just a tail and this texture is distorting like this because I use this noise channel here noise texture and the distortion amount I am using dynamic parameter if you see if I decrease this amount here like 0 0.009 it's almost not distorting at all actually it is distorting if you see close up this is moving but if I increase my value a bit you can see the distortion in this so this value I am animating in dynamic parameter here and it just rotating okay and I have logged axis, axis because I wanted this on ground surface so I logged axis on Z if I just turn it on you will see this is billboard camera facing so I logged it on Z so it's not camera facing it's just ground facing you can say then shock wave these are shock wave 
just a very simple texture material and this is just scaling out if i just turn off this is not scaling out this is just spawning scale for scaling i use this curve this is scaling and also log the axis on z axis and the texture material is too simple just this texture you can easily create in photoshop and shockwave then one more shockwave just the color and the speed is different this is very slow and the color is different then rays for rays I used a mesh that is cone shaped or you can say slender shape you can see this cylindrical but the bottom is narrow and the tip is broad so it's maybe cone shape you can say and material is very simple just a uh, raised texture and that is moving because I have used this noise texture that is panning and connected to the UVs so it's just distorting and the effect rays going out I'm using this scale by life if I just turn this off you can see just spawning at a place and now it's spawning and it's spreading because I use this curve see at zero height is width is 10 and height and x and z is 1 then it's spreading and just height is going down okay and spawning two particles then raise again and this raise same mesh delta same material the height is different and these are rotating so this was my whole effect let's check it out in viewport so first this petal just come by rotation and by scale and this moving by material and it has also light so the all petals come one by one same property just the mesh is different one by one I turn on I will turn on all the petals So all the petals has just created the flower then they disappear by scaling out. Then these petals I'm using a curved shape planer and using a texture sheet for random petals and these are just spawning and falling down rotating a bit and random movement by orbit. then again a petals these petals you can see the light one this I overpower the color and looks very nice magical petals then rotating petal you can see in ground on ground these petals are rotating 
same texture material may start falling petals but i used all bit on one axis so they are rotating then light petals rotating you can see some light petals rotating that gives very nice effect then again rotating nice petals just the size variation then rotation rotating the sparks you can see some streaks here that are rotating very simple radial gradient material and stretching because they are aligned on velocity then some trail you can see on ground a very simple tail texture that i have distorted by a noise texture in dynamic parameter and then shock wave you can see this just scaling out very simple texture material then one more shock wave this one is more saturated and more slow then these rays and this was my whole effect you can see the rays here very nice effect so this was my whole effect it was nice it was simple and you can easily create i hope you learn something with this tutorial and thanks for watching my tutorial thanks for supporting subscribe liking and commenting if you have any suggestion or any query just comment below this video and i will maybe do it in next tutorial or i will improve if i have some problem you can just comment below and uh, like my videos share subscribe and keep learning thank you bye